It's great to meet you. Don't you just love these things? Oh yeah. I've been on a lot of speed dating um, events like this. Well, I've been in them, not on them. <laughs> but um, they're such fun. I mean, it's a shame we have such a small amount of time to chat and connect, but they do always say first impressions are what matters the most. Yeah. <laughs> oh, about me? Sure. I kind of um, love to talk about myself. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, okay? Well, I graduated mostly top of my class, um, top of the cheer class at least, at uh, Florida University. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's great down there. We're so close to Disney World and Universal Studios and <sighs> just love Disney, don't you? so much fun. Reminds me of my childhood and all that fun, whimsy stuff. It's like, it's like stepping back in time, you know? Anyway, yeah, so I was a top cheerleader there. I was a cheerleader in high school and, you know, I did a bit in college. No, I, I don't cheer anymore. Um, I'm actually a life coach. Oh, you've never heard of life coaches? Well, please remind me to give you my card, okay, before, before the timer goes off. Oh, I, I help out with anything with meal prepping, um, fitness, but mostly just overall positivity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just not enough positivity and love in this world, don't you think? Uh, what do I like doing? Um, I like going to the beach, uh, hanging out in the sun, um, really just like anything. Um, I love seeing what the new trends are with um, lifestyle and, you know, food blogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just came from the gym myself. Um, sometimes I do some personal training. It's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, life coaching can really consist of anything. Oh, yeah, what do you do? Sorry. Sometimes I just talk and talk and talk. Oh, that's so much fun. Yeah, you know, if you're looking to grow in your business, you should talk to me. I don't necessarily know a lot about finances, but... It's all about positivity and intentions. And diet. Have you heard of the paleo diet? Yeah, can you believe that we'd eat anything different than what we ate as cavemen? And women. Cave women, of course, too. Yeah, wild, right? Yeah. Well, I start every morning with an apple cider vinegar rinse, a hot water and lemon just to get my digestive tract going, and then I make myself a nice fresh smoothie. Mm -hmm. And then I go for a five-mile run, and then when I get back, I look in the mirror and say five things I love about myself and five things I love about the world. You know, I don't find it exhausting. I drink a lot of green tea, matcha green tea. Organic, of course. <laughs> so tell me more about yourself. Oh, oh that's really interesting. <laughs> so you work with like numbers or banks? I, I guess I don't understand. <laughs> no. You know, sometimes I think when you're someone like me who has such a free spirit and a free heart, you know, all that kind of more intellectual stuff, it just kind of goes out the window. It's like, what do we need facts for when we can just base our lives on feelings, you know? <laughs> I feel like you understand me. Well, listen, even if our time runs up and, um, you know, we don't get to really chat more, you should really check out my blog. Yeah. Oh, it's on my card. I'll give that to you. Mm -hmm. I also have a YouTube channel where I, you know, promote my lifestyle and, you know, offer others who are looking for life coaches. Yeah, it's totally important to, like, have something like that in your life where you really are feeling like you're waking up each day and being the best you. Oh, no, I don't. People say that all the time. I'm really not trying to sell myself. It's just, um, sometimes it just happens naturally, you know? You just start talking and talking and talking and... Oh, no. Did our time run out? Well, that's fine. I can put a positive spin on anything. Make sure you take my card, okay? Hey. Damn, nice to meet you, too. You know, you look kind of familiar. Yeah, did you ever play with Aficionado? Uh, They're this local Albany band. <laughs> I guess not if you've never heard of them. Yeah. Oh, they're cool. You know, I'm like good friends with all the bandmates. 
I'm really like big in the music scene up in Albany. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the music scene's great there. I mean, now that I've moved to Brooklyn, I'm still kind of like figuring things out and all, but yeah, Albany is where it was at. Oh yeah, I would just be at Valentine's before they shut it down. That is like every night. Oh yeah, there's so many good musicians there. So, what do you do? Oh, yeah, that, that's a fine job. Me? Oh, I work in a record shop. Love music, obviously, but, you know, no, not like a Best Buy, a record shop. Yeah, yeah. It's all vintage, authentic, you know, underground bands. Yeah, I mean, popular bands are okay. I used to like go see Bayside before they blew up. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with Envy on the Coast. Luckily they disbanded before they got too big. Yeah, I feel like when musicians get popular and bands get popular and trends get popular, it just ruins it, don't you think? What kind of music do you listen to? Really? <laughs> no. That's fine. There's uh, no accounting for taste, right? So, anyway, forget about your job. What do you do in your free time? Oh, me? Well, um, obviously, love going to shows. Um, you know, sometimes I hang out at Guitar Center just to see what's going on. Do you uh, play any instruments or anything? You don't? If you ever wanted to learn, I know all the guys down at Guitar Center. Oh yeah, I've known them for a few years now. Mm -hmm. You know, I really got to know them because the one that's on Central Avenue, oh, you don't really know Albany, do you? I'm telling you, Albany is where it's at. Brooklyn's just, Brooklyn's all right and stuff, but you know, people try too hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't need to try so hard. You can just exist and not be such a sellout, you know? Oh, no, not you. I'm, I just mean like the general society, you know? Yeah. I mean, society just walks around following trends, you know, listening to Kim Kardashian. She's like a singer or whatever, like movie star. I don't know what she is, but you know, that's all people care about. They don't care about the truth, the fundamental truth. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Like I was saying, yeah, so, I don't know, it was like 10 years ago, and I was at this uh, Between the Buried and Me concert, it was so lit, it was just, it was so great. Of course, you know, I have my way, I'm sneaking up to the stage, before you know it, I'm backstage, I'm hanging out with the band, yeah, no, they were super cool and down to earth, and I got introduced to so many people, mm -hmm. yeah, I wound up like, hanging out with their opening act, I actually dated the guitarist for a bit, but... I don't know. He was all right. I really liked the drummer, but he had a girlfriend or something, so what are you going to do? I don't know how they, you know, manage to, like, keep relationships while they're on the road on tour. Oh, yeah, I used to be a roadie for a bit. I used to travel around, but, you know, I got tired of that. You've got to, like, grow up at some point, right? Mm -hmm. You want to talk about something else that's not music? Uh, I guess I, we can talk about coffee. Do you like coffee? I love coffee. There's this really cool underground um, coffee shop. It's like very artisanal coffee. It's a little pricey, but you know, I know the guys that work there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. Everyone that works there has to have a beard. They have to wear suspenders. It's kind of fun, you know, like a little bit of a theme going on. Oh, was our timer up? All right, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it's nice meeting you or whatever. You should really look into start playing an instrument. Trust me, that is the way to go, man. And then you grow a beard too. And I get the impression your outfit, you're like serious about it. If you were just to like add a little bit more, wear it ironically, so much better. <laughs> just some friendly advice. 
street. Yeah. This place need you too. And so, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, it's your first time to one of these? Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, um, go on too many dates. I mean, I, I get out now and then, but, um, well, honestly, my friend had to drag me here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I go with her to, um, poetry readings or to the cafe, but <laughs> honestly, I'm usually happier at home with my cats. I have two cats. Yes, they're they're really nice. Yeah, I I've been on dates. I just um I don't know. I get a little nervous, I guess. Yeah, but my my friend was determined to come tonight, so here I am. So, um, what kind of work do you do? Oh, that's really interesting. Me? Oh, I work in finance, but, um, a lot of it's take-home work, so... I mostly get to work from home. Yeah, I, um, I prefer working at home. I don't really like big crowds, commuting, having to socialize with a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, but this is nice. I, I hope you're having an okay time. <laughs> I don't know, speed dating's kind of weird. I mean, honestly, dating's kind of weird, isn't it? It's just like a weird concept, I don't know. Don't listen to me, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Oh, um, yeah. I have hobbies, um, I like to knit. I like going for walks, playing with my cats, obviously. Um, I like to read. I draw a little bit. Oh no, I don't have any drawings with me. Oh no, I don't really, um, I don't really like to show people my drawings. They're not that good, I, I don't know. Anyway, we don't have to talk about me. Why don't we talk about you? Yeah, tell me more about yourself. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, it looks like our buzzer went off. Time's up. Do you know how many more of these I have? I'm just starting to get a little, a little antsy. I think I'll take a break and come back later. It's really nice to meet you, though. Oh, hello. Do you know if this night's almost over yet? Yeah, it just feels like it's been dragging for ages. Have you seen some of these other girls? I mean, where did they find them? You know, I was just under the impression this whole the dating thing was a little more exclusive, you know? I mean, no one bothered to dress even remotely nicely. But I guess not everyone can afford to have such nice style as me, you know? So, go ahead. Tell me about yourself. What sort of line of work do you do? Oh, so... 
do you work there or do you own the company? Oh. Yes, um, Daddy owns a few companies. He mostly does trading on the market, but, you know. Actually, I think he has quite a few shares in the place you work. <laughs> a little bit about me? Well, I have quite the inheritance, of course, from my father's great work. Otherwise, I suppose I like some shopping. Not just in the stores in Soho, you know. Boutiques and um, personal shopping and things like that. Yeah, I don't like to mix with the crowd so much. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been married three times before, actually. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a, a divorce, but, you know, it's almost finalized. Yeah, I've dated lawyers and doctors, but really I look more for business moguls, you know? Men don't have to get their hands dirty with, you know, menial work and things like that. Oh, yes. I mean, of course I'm getting quite a settlement from the divorces, but I really don't need it. Oh, yes, I come from old money. <laughs> yeah, uh, my father, back in Europe, actually, Quite a few companies that he meddles with. Have you looked into investing yourself? <laughs> not in yourself. Obviously, you're not investing yourself that much. But I just mean investing. Oh yes, you should talk to my daddy. He has, he knows all about those sort of things. I just stay out of it, you know. It's not really my place. I just stick with um society events and you know. Staying out of the society, gossip rags, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is um quite an interesting speed dating thing. I was under the impression there was a better background check, and, you know. Yeah, I mean, obviously I can find a date just fine on my own, but now that I've done with husband number three, I thought maybe I'd try for someone a little more down to earth. You seem very, very down to earth. Do you mind me asking, how much do you make per year? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. It's just, that's, um, that's less than my, um, dog's personal assistant. Oh, I apologize. I really didn't mean to offend you. I've been told sometimes I... You know, I, I can't help it. Yes, you know, I just like a man that's self-made. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? I'm self-made. I mean, sure, it's my daddy's inheritance, but it doesn't matter. If you have money, you need to have class, and I have lots of class. Don't you agree? Now, obviously, I can take care of myself financially, but... It's always nice to be provided for. That's why I wanted to know that information about, you know, your finances. Mm hmm Yeah, who doesn't like to be pampered and spoiled and treated like the princess they are? Although I like to think of myself more as the queen than the princess. Oh, is our time up? <sighs> Wonderful. What do you mean I have to move on? No, no, I'm not getting up. I'm comfortable. You can get up and move. Yep, send some other guy here. And make sure they're making a few more figures than you. Okay, thanks. Oh. Sorry, is it? Time for the next one. I was just um, getting a little reading in. Hey, nice to meet you. Oh yeah, I always have a book with me. Um, you just never know. Yeah. Well, I was good. I only brought one book today. <laughs> Usually I have my whole library or something. Oh yeah, for anything. Um, parties, uh, concerts out shopping. It's kind of like my uh, safety blanket, you know? 
Don't you have anything that you always bring with you? Your phone? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I have books on my phone, but there's something about an actual physical book, you know? The pages, the way it smells, the way it feels in your hand, you know? It just doesn't compare to ebooks, no matter how convenient they are. Yeah, even for speed dating, why not bring a book? Actually, especially for something like speed dating, you know? Have you read this before? No. Well, what sort of books do you like? You're not really into reading? Really? Alright, well, let's um, get this over with, huh? So, yeah, sure, tell me about yourself. Mm hmm Oh. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Me? Oh. Well, I'm working uh, in a research lab right now, but um, once a year, I travel uh, to Alaska. Yeah, went up on a barge. It's a lot of fun, really fascinating. Alaska's beautiful. A lot of quiet and downtime. Not all the hustle and bustle of the city, you know? Yeah. Not a big fan of that kind of thing. Gives me lots of time to read. It's actually this really good passage. Fascinating. Oh. I'm sorry, our time's not up yet. Okay. <laughs> sure, I can tell you more about myself. Um, well, obviously, I'm a big fan of literature. Um, I've been going through some Tolstoy classics. Uh, Anna Karina, War and Peace. Oh, you know War and Peace? <laughs> it's one of my favorites of Tolstoy. I mean, it's super classic, obviously. Like, hello, everyone loves that one. Um, it is a little long, but... Oh, you saw the miniseries. Uh-huh. No, I, I haven't gotten around to watching the miniseries. I am. Um, I prefer the book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Harry Potter fan. I mean, you know, it is kind of like kids' books, but... You're talking about the movies. Wait, you haven't even read the Harry Potter books. You, you can't compare the books to the movies. The movies are like a little fun extra visual, you know, if you'd like. Uh, have I read Game of Thrones? Um, it's actually a song of ice and fire. Yeah, Game of Thrones is the name of the first book. Um, and then it's a um, Clash of Swords, sorry, Clash of Kings. Uh, now, see, now you're messing up. You you did this. This, this is your fault. Yeah, it's, it's not the Game of Thrones books. It's... This series is called A Song of Ice and Fire. And yes, I have read all the books. <laughs> anyway. Oh, look at that. The timer went off. This was a really fascinating discussion. Definitely, I'll, um, I'll make sure to mark you off on my card. Okay. Yeah, great. Well, where was I? You know they Are you? Oh, please don't get up. Where are you going? It's over? What's over? The speed dating event, huh? <laughs> you don't seem like the type that needs help with an event to get a date. Why, you're so handsome and you have such nice skin and... Oh, we're not supposed to touch each other? <laughs> is that some kind of rule? Oh, it is a rule. Well, to be honest, I didn't really sign up for speed dating. I didn't even know there was speed dating going on here. Although I wish I had. No, I was just walking past outside and I saw your good looking face and I had to come in. Oh, why are you getting up? So who cares if I'm not part of this whole speed dating thing? We can still exchange information, can't we? Oh, come on, I'm sure 
that none of those other girls you met really caught your interest, did they? No? Well, I bet I could easily catch your interest. You've certainly got mine. Why don't you just write down your information here? Yeah, go ahead. Just write down your name. Mm-hmm. And your phone number. Great. And your email address. Mm-hmm. And your home address. Yes, your home address. You heard me right. Go ahead. And your social security number. What do you mean you're not going to write that down? Well, how am I going to find out anything about you? Uh-oh. Here comes my probation officer. I'm not technically supposed to be out tonight. Or near people at all. Not for a little while. Listen, this was great. I'm going to take this information, and you'll be seeing me soon. Bye.